lose weight. Um, and if you want to improve your, your metabolic health, your number one key is protein. You know, and obviously, having said that, you need to you need to find balance in your meals, and also, nutrition alone cannot help you. Um, well, not not necessary. Okay, let me rephrase this. Not necessary that nutrition alone cannot help you. However, if you want to achieve a certain um, a certain look in terms of your aesthetic, your how you want to look. Um, you want to make sure that you help the process. By helping the process, that means you need to eat the right amount of protein. You need to eat the right amount of fats and carbohydrates, obviously balanced. And most importantly, you need to lift weight. I know a lot of people are so, especially when it comes to women, are scared of lifting weight. They believe that they're going to be buff. They're going to be bulky. There is absolutely no such thing. If you are a woman and you lift weights, you will never be bulky. You will never look like a man because you don't produce the same amount of testosterone levels that we produce as men. So it is highly impossible unless you go and do other stuff that we are not aware of. <laughs> um, <laughs> or you start injecting stuff in your body. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that which will um, temper with your, uh, with your hormones with your testosterone levels, then it's a, it's a, it's, it's a total new game. Um, it will change everything. I mean, but however, for, for, for our sessions, we focus on the normal. Uh, we don't try and teach people to do the abnormal, st abnormal stuff, you know? So our main focus is to make sure that you, uh, as a fitness fanatic, as a person who wants to improve their health and well-being, get the right information. We go out there research the information and bring it to you. Yeah. And uh, if we don't get enough answers, we, we, we do consult as well. So coming back um, to, to, to our main topic for today, which is why we should eat more protein. Um, I'm just going to skip the other um, reasons why and shoot to this one. I just want to get to my notes quickly and shoot to this one because most people believe that if you eat too much protein, uh, it can be harmful to your kidneys. According to research, if you eat more protein and you do not have any, I need to emphasize this, if you do not have any kidney problems, you are safe. Okay. okay. This will never affect you if your kidneys are healthy. However, if you have a problem with your kidneys and your kidneys are not healthy, I wouldn't recommend that you eat too much protein. Obviously, um, if you have a condition with your kidneys, you always want to call, cons uh, consult with your doctor, and um, your doctor is able to check your, your your the functionality of your kidneys versus your eating um, in terms of protein. So, please don't be afraid to eat a lot of protein, thinking that it's going to harm your kidneys. If you've never have any, had any issues with your kidney or you're not aware of it, um, you can still eat protein. But if you are maybe a bit skeptical that, hey, I could be eating too much protein, but I don't know what's going on with my kidney, I suggest or I recommend you go and consult with the doctor. The doctor will do their test to see the functionality of your kidney, if you have a problem with your kidney or not. Okay, so that that's that's the most important part coming from from us. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, I'm gonna get that one out of the way and go back to my number one in the list, um, which most people probably are not aware of, uh, that it reduces the appetite and hang and hunger levels. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you, you will be aware that if you eat a lot of protein, you, you will stay, you will stay fuller for longer. So you, you won't be, chances of you eating too much won't happen, especially if your focus is weight loss. Um, if you want to lose weight, make sure that you're getting enough protein so that, uh, it will suppress your, um, your appetite. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. But obviously, when we when we say appetite, we're talking about the healthy appetite, not not the unhealthy one. Okay. Yeah, late night so, snack. Yeah, in the late night snack. So what it does, it it helps you to um to reduce the hunger, helping you eat your calories. So if you're on calorie deficit, uh, load more on protein, then you are sorted. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is caused by the improved function of weight regulating hormones, which helps you to lose weight. Okay. And then number two, uh, not only men <laughs> want to <laughs> they want to be buff. Yeah. Okay. Some men want to be buff. Some men want to build lean muscles, yeah. and some women also. They use the word toning, but yeah. basically toning is dropping more body fat, building lean muscles. Yeah, uh, that 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 part I think yeah toning. Sometimes we need to clarify exactly what toning is because I think people are sending out the wrong message. Gramotare, I specialize in toning. Hey, nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's one of those things we we really need to have talk about because you're not really. Yeah, maybe the end goal is that you look a bit slimmer, but still you'll be adding muscle, yeah. and just dropping body fat, and lean. Yeah, I, I think we need to, we need to educate you guys that the word toning it's some sometimes it's used um, inappropriately, if I should say so. Okay, not necessarily inappropriate. I'm just don't know if the right way that I should use. Um, but people keep saying, "Oh, I want to be toned." But I don't want to build muscles. Now I get confused. Yeah. Like you want to be toned, but you, you don't want to build muscle. Yeah. Uh, that's very confusing. So for you guys, the simple, the simple method that we want to teach you or a simple way is for you to drop body fat, build lean muscles. Mm. Simple. Okay. That way you will look, you will look leaner and you will look smaller. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Obviously, when it comes to 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 John, <laughs> who's lifting two hundred kgs at the gym, yeah. at the time maybe his goal is just to build mass. He just wants to build big muscles and just be strong. He's not worried about being lean. So let us not confuse the two. Yes, eating more protein will help you to increase your muscle mass and strength. And so for 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 you guys uh, who are focusing on being lean. Don't worry about the mass part. Okay. At the end of the day, you want to gain lean muscles. Yeah. Lean muscle mass, if if that will make you understand what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Because if though, you remember that. But though there must, we must realize that it takes time. Don't think that uh, after 30 days of eating protein, you're good. there'll be a big jump. Yes, there will be changes. But not necessarily the big jump that you are looking for immediately. It will it will take some time. Because I think Babanchi, a lot of us, we see maybe maybe me or Mandla where we are right now. And you in your head you're thinking, if I do this for three days or seven days or thirty days, I will immediately look like Brahmandla or like them, or like whoever you inspire to be like. And it takes much longer. I mean, if you look at uh, Mandla's training history, he's been training for more than 20 years. I've been training for more than 10 or 12 years. So this thing takes time. It takes time to, to, to kneel, to, I mean, to hit those habits in and say, I'm going to eat more protein for a year, for, for two years, for three years, and see what happens to the body. Yeah, hey, thirty days. Aye, soka. <laughs> yeah, thirty days yeah, will get you the habits, but I don't think <laughs> I don't think you uh, for the body that all of us want. Or will thirty days it may not be enough, but it's a good start. Yeah, that, actually, I mean, you 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 said something interesting. That's why I always say to people, personally, I don't have time to to teach people about this 30 days, 21 days challenge. Uh, are you going to live for 21 days? Mm. Are you going to live for 30 days? Mm. What if God decides to keep you for 100 days? Mm. Uh, not 100 days, for, for 100 years. Yeah. What's going to happen? So 
make life easy and simple for yourself. So, uh, set short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. Um, okay, this is my personal opinion. Start with this 20 days challenge, 30 days challenge. It doesn't really work because after 30 days, then what? Yeah. You will lose the weight in 30 days. Quick, quickly though. The challenge yeah. is what happens after. After. There. Yeah, that's what the challenge is. I think, I think one of the things that I've seen is that I think I, 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 I fail my client the most if I, I help them lose weight not every six months. And then when I check them a year later, when they're not with me or two years later, when they're not with me and they've gained all that weight back, it means I failed in giving them the information that they need or they are, they are not as committed. I don't know. Yeah. Or they, yeah, or they, they didn't use the information correctly. True. You know, the, at the end of the day, we want to, we want to make sure that, well, we want to, we teach our clients that you need to be healthy, you need to be strong, you need to be fit as long. This is for, for me personally, I say as long as you live. Yeah. You must, you know, no, yeah, not this, this, this 30 days, 21 days, uh, <laughs> or 28 days. <laughs> No, as long as you live so, right, you look after yourself. Yeah, you need to you need to look after yourself. You need to be healthy every single day of your life. You cannot say, Oh, I'm just gonna be on this challenge for so many days and then that's it. It it, it doesn't make sense. it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make health sense. Um it's not practical. So yeah, look at the end of the day, focus on 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 your health. Your health is not is not twenty eight days, not five days, not seven days. It is as long as you live. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Which which brings me to to our next point. Um, because as you age, certain things in your body they start deteriorating. You know, they start slowing down. I mean, for example, uh, when it comes to 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 guys, guys or men at a certain age they drop their test levels, levels are becoming low, and um, they, they come across certain challenges which, which we're not going to talk about them today. May it will be a topic for another day on how testosterone levels uh, affect men in general. Mm. Okay. So another, another, another problem that, well, no, it's not a problem, another challenge that we face as we age our bone density also drops. So if you eat more protein, it's good for your bones. Okay. If you eat more protein, combine it with strength training. It helps you to, to strengthen your bones. And most, most important, it also lowers the risk of uh, osteoporosis yeah. and uh, fractures as, as we get older. Especially in women. Okay. Women tend to, to, to lose a lot more bone mass. The men as they age, especially, so it, it's it's quite key that they take care of their bones by exercising and eating the the right nutrients to help support their bones. We are not saying go and drink more milk. Uh, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> because like again, I know as you grow up, the t TV cells us that. In order for your bones to be strong, you need to drink more. You must have more calcium. More cal yeah. Drink more milk, drink more milk. And it's not the case. Only I understand when it's children, but as an adult, um, it's, a different story. it's a different story. It's a completely different story. So I think the exercise part and the, take, and the nutrition part will play a, a key role in all this. Especially. Yeah, I, I don't know what's. I haven't actually checked the research behind it. But I mean, I, I think also because of some women are scared of, of lifting weights, it could be one of the factors. Uh, look, I don't have the, the, the full details, but I'm sure there's a scientific yeah. uh, reason why. But I mean, if, if, if you don't lift weights, we know what happens, you know. Um, I mean, we've seen, it with, with, we've seen it with a lot of runners who, who don't lift any weights. Immediately when they get injured, they take much longer. Yes, to recover. To recover because they're not lifting any weight, so there's their, their bones are not 
strong as they should be. Only after a ninja, after started lifting weights now, uh, only when it's prescribed. So as if you want to keep your bones strong, say start lifting some weights, eating more protein. Yeah, yeah. which is which is which is another benefit of of of, um, of eating more protein. Mm. It helps your body to repair itself after an injury. So can you imagine if if you're not lifting weights, you're not eating more protein, and uh, you are you're literally sort of prone to injuries um, if you don't if you don't eat more protein, you don't lift weights, and you start uh, participating in any form of sport. So well, what I would try to say that it's very important for you to to eat more protein, lift weights. Um, that that also will help you to to um, avoid injuries. And also, if you get injured, your recovery will be quicker. Yeah. As opposed to a person who who doesn't lift weights at all. Um, and another thing is that most people they want to lose they want to lose uh, body fat, but they are so scared of of lift of eating more protein. And one of the benefits of eating more protein is to boost your metabolism and increase uh, your fat burning. Mm. Mm. I can I cannot even stress enough that if you eat more protein, your body uh, is uh, it's become sort of a, a V12 of a metabolism mm. engine, and uh, it becomes this stove that burns uh, more fat. It increases the fat burning. So what 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 about then when you start adding weight training, you become your body becomes a complete machine. You know, your metabolism becomes faster and um, your body burns more fat. And because you're also lifting weights, you burn fat while you are at rest. Mm. Yeah, I think, so you can see, I think there were you there. can see that all yeah. these things are, are like a, a complete package. So you can't do that one and leave that one out. out. Mm. Yeah, I think the the mistake we were sold was we should eat more salads and those stuff, cucumbers, more of those in order to lose weight, which <laughs> in actual effect ruined. I don't know if ruined was the, is the right way to use, but it caused damage to a lot of people's metabolism because it, they could not. They, and their hunger levels were low, they don't eat, and we think that, okay, if I'm not eating, means I'm losing, uh, I'm losing weight. And turns out yeah. that sometimes you may be losing weight, but you're not losing the weight that you actually want. Because what you want to do is drop body fat. Because yeah, and, 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 and I mean, another, another thing that you know, you don't mention that sometimes we get the wrong information. Um, you find people go on. They starve themselves. They they take certain uh, quick fixes. All those things they affect your metabolism. So mm -hmm. if you do if you do the right things to help your body become a machine, trust me, you you won't have to worry too much about these quick fixes. All you will do is to eat healthy, train, and enjoy life. Yeah, that's it. You know, and you as don't simple as that. We're not saying you must go overboard. If you, right now, let's say for instance, you are eating two eggs in the morning, add, add one more egg to it. Yeah. Just add one. One more egg. In your, if you've been eating oats with only plain oats, now if you want, go and buy yourself a whey, a whey protein or a protein supplement of your choice and add. To, to your own yeah, I mean, mix up. I, 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 find, I find some people cannot, they find, they, they will say to you, um, I can't eat oats with eggs. So yeah. that's a good suggestion that yeah. if, if, if you are one of those people that battles to, to eat oats with eggs, eggs for, for your protein, definitely go out there, find a healthy um, protein shake that you can mix with your oats. Mm. And yeah, add a bit of berries just for yeah. some taste yeah. and enjoy it. Sort it. Yeah. Sort it. Yeah, and then you sort it. I think because that, that also brings to us to, an, to, to point number five. Um, 
it helps if you eat more protein it helps you to maintain weight loss oh. so if you're not if if you're going to focus too much on greens <laughs> and you're not bringing protein you are not doing justice yeah. so yes we we are saying to you have your greens balance your carbs and fats but up your your your, your, your protein. protein intake yeah if you want not say that if you do add, if you are adding your greens to your plate uh, if you're starting to feel that you're getting too hungry make sure that you finish the protein and then also add yes greens. so I'll go, I'll go for the chicken and the fish before the other stuff because but we do know that protein like we said in the beginning you're going to feel fuller there is yeah. uh, there's no one who can ask anyone if you eat a full chicken you will not finish it alone just no, never just the full chicken alone it will make you full so if you are eating your greens i'll say fats up the your protein which is your chicken your fish your tuna whatever that you are you are you are you are, you are taking in as a sauce and then finish off with the greens i think that's that's your that's where you start winning and then you can also like what like like what we just said to to maintain the weight loss keeping that protein high the whole time would be key for maintenance you definitely yeah. Yeah. you know yesterday i posted um on instagram asking people to ask questions about about transformation and um, one of the questions that came up was can i just lose weight from doing um cardio alone so I said to the guy no yeah you can't yeah. you need to you need to have a balance but balance eating plan you need to make sure that you're eating enough protein um low carbs enough fat but most importantly you need to lift weights and, you know, and it turns out happy. it turns out brahman that don't really need to do any cardio in fact to lose yeah weight. i mean if if you push it, Yeah, if you push, if you push heavy weights, dude, and and I mean, I mean, I mean, some so, some of us even do high intensity training using weights. Yeah. You know, so your machine becomes your sorry, not your machine. Your body becomes a machine <laughs> that um, that that is strong. Yeah. That is forever, twenty four seven, burning cal uh, burning um, calories. Yeah. meaning that you are dropping body fat while you are building muscles. Yeah. And I, and that's all we want. That's all we want. I think a lot of people will go on they switch on their watch and then they say ah oh, today I've been 3 300 calories. I'm like you know there is so much happening post exercise. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot. You are you are actually burning more from lifting weights even the next day when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. It's still, it's still burning. Still in a burning zone you're still in a burning you zone you know so I, I, that's another thing that we need to teach people that a certain workout will help you to burn calories now mm. and a specific workout will help you to burn calories now and post the workout yeah, yeah so yeah. we need to teach our, our 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 people to understand the difference mm. and uh, and obviously train according i always say to these people to, to people train according to your goals if your goal is to to be strong and fit you need to follow a specific training routine um if your your goal is to be strong your focus will be entirely will be will be on strength training only mm. you know that's what i was saying earlier you need to set yourself short term goals medium goals medium term goals and long term ones okay because If you want to say ah for 21 days I want to do this then after 21 mm-hmm. and talking about 21 days if you follow a program like if you are training proper we know that the program before you change your program you must do that program for 4 weeks and see so where is where is your 21 days thing yeah and we need to see that this thing is working for you or not so if it's done in like 21 days it will nothing much and yeah, that's like right. and you see people now will go on the scale every day every day every day every day every oh. day it's been 10 days i'm not seeing any changes I'm like guys 
you need to be patient with these things and and, and focus no, but on you know what i mean the more we, we we teach our clients the more we teach people that follow us uh, I've, I've realized that it's slowly slowly it's gonna take time it's slowly sinking in um because the other day one of the one of my clients said oh but i'm not losing weight i'm like okay are your clothes fitting you oh my clothes are becoming loose i'm like mm, okay. okay so that part they don't see that is, 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 that a, is that a bad thing it's like, oh, yeah, actually that's a good thing because I couldn't fit in this one dress, now I can fit in this other mm. dress. Mm. And when I'm actually in this dress that I fit in now that I couldn't fit before, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit hanging. Mm. Like there you go. Mm. Your how, focus should be should should be how should be on how you feel and also how are your clothes sitting on you? Do you feel good when your clothes uh when you're wearing your clothes? Do you feel that these clothes are too tight? They are. They're making me uncomfortable. I can't breathe. Or these clothes now are becoming loose. Uh, I feel like I need to buy a new wardrobe. You know. So focus on those things. Those small things that make a difference. We we always want to focus on the bigger things. On oh, I've dropped ten kgs, but you don't focus on the process before you get to losing ten kgs. Yeah. So I think if you look, that's you that's that's so that's the. That's the biggest challenge that we, um, we as human beings face on a daily basis. Go for it. Yeah, because if you look now, like one of my clients, um, we started like changing how she's eating and the way she used to train before and now. Because now she had a problem. She couldn't sleep properly and she always had headaches during the day. She. Three, three weeks into the training and just changing a couple of your stuff with the ET, much better. She's feeling much, yeah, like you said, the, the scale may, may say something else, but how she's feeling, she's saying something different because she was not feeling okay. Because me and you have been training so long, we, we don't have a problem with sleeping. We don't have a problem with headaches and all of those stuff. So when somebody says, you know, no, I, cannot, I cannot headache, I'm sleeping well. My stress levels have gone down. And actually, down. sometimes we feel like sleep is not enough. We need more sleep. Exactly. Sometimes we are. It's just that our bodies are, have been waking up early for a long time. It's sometimes it's yeah. a bit difficult to wake up at 10. It's, I've, nah, tried. I've, I've, I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. Sometimes you, you think to yourself, oh, it's the weekend. I just want to be indoors and don't wake up. I uh, do Yes, you will stay indoors, but mm. but by by eight o'clock you're up, you're up on the weekend, not even eight, by six. Because okay. the body's so used to working up. Here. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I, I, I think I think um just before we, we drop off today, oh, yeah. um I think I wanna quickly share these um because I'm sure some of our people are not they don't eat meat they, they they focus on more um some people are vegans some are mm -hmm. vegetarians so i quickly see i just want to read out this some of the sources mm -hmm. uh, for vegans and uh, vegetarians for protein uh, one of them is tofu you can have tofu for your for your protein and the second one is lentils um, even even if you eat meat, sometimes you want to switch just a bit. You know, you can have lentils, um, uh, chickpeas, and then number five, uh, it's called spelt and teff. Okay, I've never seen these ones before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hemp seed, I'm sure most people are familiar with hemp seed. Uh, green peas. Um, this the quinoa. Okay, I always struggle to pronounce this one. It's the Q U I N O A. Quinoa, quinoa something like that. Yeah, quinoa. Quinoa. Hey, yeah, I always laugh at myself when I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh, uh, soy milk. <laughs> um, Wild rice, chia seeds. So, guys, uh, oh yeah, this was one here: nuts, nut butters, 
and, and other seeds. Um, so these are some of the <laughs> sources for vegan and vegetarian mm-hmm. for your protein. So yeah, that, that's it for me for, for today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Over guys. To you, sir. Thank you for listening to the show. Uh, the podcast is obviously available on YouTube. Spotify and iTunes. You can find Amazon Clegg on Instagram, 365 Functional Training. And you can find me, Timo underscore F, Timo on Instagram. Also, um, if you have any questions, do drop it on to our inboxes on Instagram. And then we will talk about those. So thank you very much. See you on the next episode. Thank you, sir. Um...